When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man, we started getting some visitors from every universe. Ready, Eddie? Yeah. The mid-credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home features none other than Venom, picking up where we left him in the post credit scene of Venom Let There Be Carnage. But what does this mean for the future of Eddie Brock and the symbiote? And how is this all heading towards the Tom Holland Spider-Man, Tom Hardy Venom crossover we've so long been wanting to see? Let's break it down. Eddie and the symbiote are still in the same tropical hotel location we last saw them after they were suddenly whisked away from their universe and into the MCU thanks to Doctor Strange's wayward spell. Eddie tries to get some details about this place from the Cabana Barman, played by Danny Rojas from Ted Lasso himself, Cristo Fernandez. But Eddie is astounded to hear there are many superheroes that populate this world. Remember, in his world, Venom is the only superhero we know of so far. Suddenly, Eddie and the symbiote are transported presumably back to their home universe, or at the very least out of the MCU, along with the rest of the Spider-Men and Spider-Villains sent home by Doctor Strange's spell. The big question is, how did they get there in the first place? Because the initial botched spell only applied to people who knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man, Hello, Peter. We have to assume that means this version of Venom also knew Peter Parker. And that means that the Venom from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 that knew Peter Parker is somehow connected to Tom Hardy's Venom, or is potentially just the same Venom, hence being ripped from his universe and dumped into a resort town in the MCU. Venom told Eddie in the post credits of Venom Let There Be Carnage that symbiotes have traveled far and wide across the cosmos and the multiverse. 80 billion light years of hive knowledge across universes would explode your tiny little brain. So it's entirely possible the film versions of Venom have some kind of shared knowledge through their experiences in different universes. WandaVision also introduced the idea of a nexus being to the MCU. Because the world doesn't revolve around you, or does it? Could Venom, like Scarlet Witch, be one of these anchor-like beings sitting across the multiverse? Further complicating things is what Venom and Eddie left behind when they went back. A small trace of black symbiote goo. Even though Eddie and the symbiote are no longer in the MCU, they left a small piece of the symbiote behind. Maybe it's a piece of Venom that somehow doesn't know Peter Parker, or maybe they were just drunk enough that it's like a symbiote slobber left on the bar. Either way, that little blob may lead to a big crossover between Spider-Man and Venom. In the comics, the Venom symbiote is known to spawn new symbiotes, and that may be what we're seeing here. Although usually the spawns are different colors. Carnage is red, Lasher is green, etc and they go on to take their own names and develop their own personalities. So, given how the symbiote goo was black, it's likely this is all going down a different path. Perhaps the symbiote copied itself and now there's a Venom symbiote in the MCU. The symbiote did express an interest in Spider-Man when it licked the TV screen in the previous post credit scene. And Eddie slash Venom said they wanted to go find Spider-Man in New York right before they were zapped away in this scene. So it's likely this new symbiote will track down and bond with Peter Parker. As Spidey fans well know, this would lead to the black costume saga where Peter wears the alien symbiote and and dons his iconic black suit. In the comics, the alien suit gave Spider-Man enhanced powers, but also brought out his darker side, leading Peter to shed the suit in order to save his humanity. Whereas originally, the discarded suit found Eddie Brock and bonded with him to create Venom. We may be seeing the reverse where Venom's spawn creates the black suit Spider-Man. Even though No Way Home sends Eddie and the symbiote back to their world, there's still the opportunity for a Spider-Man Venom crossover. If Peter does indeed come into contact with the new symbiote, then he would likely try to track down where it came from, and it would only be a matter of time before he realizes it came from another universe, which could put Peter and Eddie on an inevitable collision course. It would take another act of powerful magic, or science, for them to cross worlds and meet again. But as we just saw, Marvel has no shortage of such things. The Loki TV series hopped between universes with ease, and in Ended with the sacred timeline branching out once more, so that may be a sign that crossing universes will become a bit more common going forward. Taking a step back and looking at Sony's future plans for the Spider-Man franchise, Sony executive producer Amy Pascal said they're already working on a new trilogy of Spider-Man films. Holland has explained how the three solo Spider-Man films formed an arc that began with Homecoming, continued with Far From Home, and is now concluded with No Way Home. 
So what comes next will be something new. If this mid credit scene is any indication, Sony's new direction is to embrace their fledgling universe of Marvel characters from the world of Spider-Man. This would mean a crossover between Spider-Man and Venom, but it may not stop there. The upcoming Morbius film starring Jared Leto seemingly takes place in the same world as Venom. And the Morbius trailers show Dr. Michael Morbius meeting Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes slash Vulture, so the crossover could see even more Marvel characters than just Peter and Eddie. Speaking during the Sony presentation at CCXP Worlds 2021, Leto said in the film version of Morbius that we're bringing to you now, he's also part of a much larger universe. If you've seen the last Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, you know the multiverse has officially opened, and there's all kinds of opportunities for villains to meet up, thrive, and maybe even nurture their more sinister intents. Basically, it's all but confirming that Spider-Man will meet Venom eventually, and run-ins with Morbius and Vulture seem likely as well, but from the way the No Way Home mid credit scene ended, it looks like Peter will be meeting the symbiote first. At the very least, the symbiote bonding with Spider-Man would finally justify giving Venom his signature white spider chest emblem, which is something fans have been eager to see on the big screen. This again? I need to be free. But what do you make of this No Way Home scene? Let us know your best theory in the comments and be sure to check out all of our other post No Way Home breakdowns here on IGN. Dude, do it! Dude, do it!